Howdy, ladies and gentlemen. Country Joe, back again. I'm here today with a festive edition of Kay's Cooking Channel. Yes, I am. She makes us a wonderful Christmas dinner. And I gotta tell you, there's mighty fun to be had. Let's check in on Kay. See what things are like on Christmas Day around her way. Oh, yes. Uh-huh. Hi, people. Back cooking. Merry Christmas to everyone. Merry Christmas, um, my darling. I've got my turkey out. Um, I'm going to show you just in case you don't know how to make stuffing. Mm. As you can see, it's a big turkey this oh. year. Can I just stop? Wait a minute. Look at the tiles, ladies and gentlemen. Look at the tiles. The tiles look like they seen many a finer year, you know. Uh, it looks like there's a pound of grease between each tile, you know what I mean? Maybe that's how she's going to fatten up the turkey. Uh, look at the lid on that pot. What color do you suppose that lid once was? You know what I mean? But let, let's not get too picky too soon, you know. I see uh, a turkey. It looks like a turkey, which is always a good thing when you're watching Kay's cooking because sometimes she says things are ball-like shape and they're not, you know. We all remember the meatballs, don't we? Oh, yeah. So let's, uh, you know, she's got a bowl there you know the plastic bowl and you know what what's happened there she's made things like beans in it and tomato soup and it stained the bowl throw it out Kay for the love of God I see she got right a lot I personally would use butter but you know never mind let's carry on so what I'm gonna do to stuff it which sounds really wrong <laughs> is I've got some Paxo sage and onion stuffing. Good old Paxo, you know what I mean? Who needs Gordon Ramsay when you got good old Paxo? <laughs> oh. Pack it here. And I'm going to put it in a bowl. A manky bowl, that's what food. You mix it with an egg. Egg and marge are optional. Egg and marge are optional, but without them it would just be okay. Uh, I, I don't know, my dad. Right, and the scoop, the margarine, which I said uh, is optional. Uh, I hate margarine. My mama used to buy stock margarine back in the uh, in the eighties, you know. And stock margarine was like something you would get in Tenko, you know what I mean? Disgusting. And the other option is just boiling water. You put your stuffing in a bowl and pour boiling water. Like I said, egg and marge are optional. You can just use boiling water. Ma did you all get that? Uh, I'm just adding the boiling water because obviously it's not as moist as it should be. Just the egg in there. I hate it when things are not as moist as they should be, you know. Gets old country jewel down, that does. Marge. There we go. Should be fine to put in the turkey. Oh. As you can see, I just mix it all nice. It's all like it. A nice paste. Crab paste. A nice paste to stuff the turkey. <laughs> uh, uh. There's something about watching Kay stuff a turkey that's quite erotic, you know. Uh, old Joe doesn't tend to go for the older ladies, but I gotta say she got me tingling in places right about now. Always cook. Sometimes you can get your hands in. Ooh, so. she using her hand. She just took it to a whole new level, everybody. <laughs> yeah, you get it right up there, King, my darling. <laughs> Look, I think you've done this before. <laughs> Bear in mind, it's Ooh, best to use a spoon because sliding the in. You know what I mean? Burning with skin off. <laughs> Just the final bit. 
Yeah, we like it good and stuffed. Right, and to keep the turkey in, you need to keep... <laughs> Sorry, to keep the stuffing in. <laughs> Messed up. You need to have the turkey legs together with its bottom. You need to try and get a back <laughs> to hold it like that. So you... Keep those turkey legs together, my darling. I often heard my mama say that to my younger sister, you know, before she went out of an evening. <laughs> you can cook it, uh, but the best way to cook it is to turn it over on his belly and put three rashes of bacon on his back. That helps to keep him moist. I've just done it like this just to show you how to start. Thank you. I've used a, a band that I got with the turkey. When you get a turkey, and I'm not so much about the chicken, but when you get a turkey, you normally get a band with it. Like I said, I've got him all trussed up now, so there's no chance of escape. <laughs> and I'm going to turn <laughs> Oh, look at the, look at over. the grease. Did you all see the grease in the bottom of that pan? <sighs> oh, as you oh. can see. Oh, I've got fat already on him. Oh, oh. That turkey looks absolutely disgusting. It's a uh, ming ding a ling lang ling lang minging. Minging. I'll oh, cook him for here, lad. I'm going to put the rashes of bacon on him. Then he's going in the oven. Needs a wash. Uh, bacon's optional. <laughs> but now I'm putting bacon on it, like a little coat. Don't ask me why I put bacon on it, it's just something started as a tradition with my parents and it's just been carried on. Was the dirt a tradition too, my darling? I don't think so. Um, I'm going to put my sprouts in a pan. Huh? As, oh my word, there's not many. Ah, oh, look at that. Sprouts. There's one, two, three, four, five, seven sprouts. Right, um, now you can use optional of a bit of... No, 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 want. no, that's just pure fat oil that you use for chips, my darling. What are you doing, Kate? Oh, holy Jesus. Oh my god, look at that fucking oven, it's like the doorway to hell! It's like the gateway for every demon that's ever existed! Oh... Kay, get a little sponge, get a little basin with hot water, a little tiny bit of uh, washing up liquid, my darling, put on your rubber gloves and fucking clean that bastard! How could you eat anything that came out of that shithole? Fuck the bird hell. in the oven. Sounds wrong. Oh no, oh no, 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 no. My mama, my mama would be. Oh my god, if she could see this. Oh, sorry guys. Oh, look at the floor, it's just that people, manky. I'm back to show you a bit more what to do. Right, everybody, I don't know if everybody does, but at Christmas time, people have what they call pigs in blankets. Now, I mean, obviously, pigs must get cold. I tell you, the pigs don't need no blankets. All they need your fucking cooker, Kate. Because, honestly, they would be happy as pigs in shit. Hanging around that oven. <laughs> yeah. So what you do is you get the sausage and a piece of bit. I just got a flashback there. Nineteen ninety-seven. Hmm. <laughs> Tiny little sausage. You know who you are. <laughs> okay. And you wrap the bacon around the sausage. Well done, well done. So the pig keeps warm. Well done. <laughs> that is a pig's in blanket. That is the first thing I have seen you cook. That actually is what it is. Fantastic. And with my pigs what the now fuck? in blanket, keeping warm, <laughs> I'm going to put some roasted 
potatoes. These are just normal potatoes. They're too big. And I'm just going to put them in, which will give them a bit of flavour. You'll be cooking them for four hours, my eat darling. Them if you want. I've got a bit of fat. And you can baste them already. I'll we'll stop them from sticking. Or you can just. I think he keeps the local fat establishments in business, you know. Bread and steak, you know, really matter. Uh, so that's it. Now they've got to go in the oven with the turkey. Oh my god, look um, at that I oven! I have never known. All I do is just keep. Check it out, put them on top of the turkey. Mm. Uh, Excited. People, as you know, Fuck my dinner me. consists, this is what my dinner consists of. Potatoes, I don't know if you can see them. Uh-huh. Little sprouts. Yes. Earlier, as I'll show you. And my carry-offs. I should be carry-offs, but I call them carry -offs. Liver gravy. As you can see, oh my god. Look at that. Now, <laughs> when I think of Christmas Day and what my mama puts on our table, yeah. <laughs> I'm not sure which one is the dog's dinner, and that's for truth. I know one is in a dog bowl. But I would say the other two look more like dog's dinners, you know. Or plates of utter shit. <laughs> now, uh, just okay. uh, want to warn you about dogs. Don't give dogs gravy. No. You can kill them, and I think that's the last thing anybody wants. Okay. Honestly, I wouldn't let my dog drink your water, my darling. Uh, never mind, eat anything prepared in that environmental hazard of a fucking kitchen, my darling. No, no, I like dogs. <laughs> it's to kill the dog because there's too much salt. Um, mm. I've, I've looked at it and there is a lot. It's too much E. coli, my darling. Too much E. coli. Far too much uh, mad cow disease too going on there, you know. Be safe. Be clean. Uh, thank you for viewing me. Um, I hope you liked what you saw. You know, if you if you like it, give me a thumbs up. Uh, if you want to leave me more comments, feel free. The more, the merrier. And if you want, subscribe to me. And Merry Christmas. Merry Christmas, K, my darling, and a happy, healthy New Year. Uh, Thank you, uh, everybody, for watching today. Please share and like and subscribe. As Kay says, it's Christmas time. You no, know, let's get friendly. That's what I say. But uh, I hope you all enjoying uh, these kind of Christmas videos. And uh, I'll talk to you all real soon. Country Joe loves you. Howdy.